Hi everybody, today I have a video on correlation and regression with quick Excel steps. We'll also predict values using the regression equation that we find in Excel. Our problem says a company compared their advertising cost in millions to their revenue also in millions. The results are given in the table below. Part A says give the correlation coefficient where you will round to two or more decimal places. Our first step is to copy the data. So we'll highlight everything on the table, right click copy or hit control C, go over to Excel and paste. You can paste by right clicking or you can hit control V. This looks small, so I'm gonna go up to the font and I'm going to increase it. Now that I have my data, I'm ready to find the correlation. I'm gonna write an R just so I remember what I'm looking for. In the cell beside it, I'm going to click equals, and as I start typing C-O-R-R, -R, you'll see that correlation comes up. It's abbreviated C-O-R-R-E-L, I'll double click. Notice it asks for two arrays. We're going to highlight the first column of numbers, then push comma, then highlight the second column of numbers, close your parenthesis, push enter. This gives us a correlation coefficient of 0.927. If you want to see more digits, just expand your column. Let's enter that answer of 0 0.927. Next, we're asked to give the equation of the regression line. Again, round each value to two or more decimal places. Back in Excel, I'll highlight my data. I'll push Insert. I'll pick a scatter plot chart. I'll hit the plus sign trend line, then over to more options. In more options, I scroll down to display equation on chart. I'm going to click the chart, go to the home tab, and increase the font. And if needed, you can move the equation to be able to clearly see all the numbers. Back in our problem, we'll enter 2.1217 then 23.617. Next, we're asked to predict the revenue if the company spends 11.6 million on advertising. Notice the 11.6 stands for the advertising. This is our independent variable, so it will go in as X in our equation. You could do this part in a calculator, or you can do it directly in Excel. Let's use a calculator. So we want to multiply 2.1217 times 11.6, then we're going to add 23.617. This time, let's round to two decimal places, which gives us 48.23. The last piece says predict the revenue if the company spends 13.3 million. Let's go back to our calculator, and we'll just change our input x from 11.6 to 13.3. Our new value is 51.83561. I'm going to call that 51.84. If you want to use Excel to do this calculation as well, you would start by going to an empty cell and push equals to let Excel know that it needs to do a calculation. You'll put in 2.1217 times the revenue 11.6 plus the 23.617. If you want to see more digits, you can grab the column and expand it so Excel has room to write more digits.